Welcome to Everyday Life. Today we are making homemade soft pretzels. Stay tuned. Welcome everybody to Everyday Life. I almost forgot what my channel was. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so right now so you can see what our next video will be. And uh, here we go. Today we are making um, a 30 minute homemade soft pretzel. We found this recipe on All Recipes, I believe. My husband's being weird. I, he's gonna be helping me today. Um, Cause it goes better by two. Pat and Vanna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't make a very cute Vanna, but you know, whatever. It'll do. So we start with um, one and a half cups of warm water. And then two and one quarter teaspoon of yeast. You gotta take care of little Stan, man. Stanley. You want something. And then you stir it for about a minute, it says. Now, this recipe is really good. The pretzels actually say soft. I want to try some with um, um, cinnamon and sugar, and I want to try some with um, shredded cheese as well. But the ones we've done are with the uh, salt on top. Just the regular salt? Uh, no, coarse, coarse salt. Is that how we say it? Yeah. Coarse salt. And next, we add the salt and sugar which I believe my husband mixed together in here. Yep, tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. There's something more salt. Extra <laughs> no. Add this in here, stir again, they see. So everything's dissolved. Then we slowly start adding the um, flour. Flour. Do you want to mix? I could uh, pour it. Okay, well, let's we'll start with this. Not the kind of soup I'd like to eat. Nope. Not very flavorful. So this usually makes about eight fairly big pretzels, eh? You can make them whatever size you want. You want, right? yeah, but we we made some like what eight big pretzels out of this. Yeah. I just find if you go too small, the pretzel doesn't look like a pretzel when it How many ingredients is this? It's not very many, is it? I don't know, six or seven, something like that. All said and done, yeah. Can I have some more, please? Absolutely. So this is a really simple, simple recipe. Guys, I'm sorry. He's being so weird today. It must be the... Today? Okay, good point. It's every day. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Thank you. Okay, I'm switching off. Tag. Yeah! Alright, I'm in. I don't want to start using your hands. 
I am. That's what I'm stirring it. So now it says to put three cups at first, which we've, we've done. And then an additional three quarter to four cups if needed. And it usually does. Because so the cup. dough is very sticky and this is three cups right now. I thought silicone wasn't supposed to stick to anything. So while he's doing this, um, I'm just going to lean in a little bit because um, he can't see me otherwise. Uh, on the stove right now, I've got about, I don't know, maybe two, three cups of water in just a normal, what do you call that? Um, pot? Pot, yes, thank you. I can't seem to find my English words today. And I'm going to add maybe like two or three tablespoons of baking soda in it so that once we get the pretzels all rolled up, I'm going to dip it in the hot water for it to, until it rises up. Once it rises up, I'll take it out and put it in uh, my baking sheets. And at that point, we will add either sugar and cinnamon or salt or cheese, whichever. But I think for this recipe, we'll just do um, salt, I think. We'll see, we'll see. Everywhere. Soon to be on my shirt. You need to preheat your oven at 425 as well so that um, when you're ready it's all good to go. Do you need some more fun? Oh yes please. Thank you. Okay now this side. <laughs> so you're better at doing that than I am. I am. It shows you play, you worked in a, in a pizza place <laughs> at one point in your life. Do Never you need needed dough by hand, ever. Do you need some... Uh, yes, please. May I have some more, please? Please, sir. I want some more. Too much flour. Right. Okay, now. So now you have to cut. Poke the dough with your finger. To see if it bounces back. Oh, but we already needed it. Yeah, it's good to go. Beautiful. Uh, you got the thing to cut? Yep. Yeah. Right bring the cookie sheet. Power. Power. I 
I'm making the balls of dough. Yeah. I did make it nice. Make it nice around. Some balls are bigger than others. Do we uh, start rolling them into uh, yeah, rope? Yeah, you can start rolling them into rope. <clears throat> Until yesterday, I've never done this before. How about you? I've done pretzels already, but they weren't as good as um, the ones, we, uh, as good as this recipe anyways. Have you rolled this stuff out into rope like this before? Yeah. Takes a little bit of practice. Can I throw it around like that? You can do whatever you want, as long as you make it nice and long. <laughs> I'm going to position myself right here. So that I can You're going to demonstrate your magic flipper group? I don't have a magic flipper group. Are you going to tie them both ways we tied them yesterday, or just go ahead? Is this too thin, or is it too thick? Bring it. It's okay. It's all good. Is it long enough? Then you do a little, um, what do you call that? Horseshoe. A U. And then what I do is I just do this. I do a couple of twists, and then I just put it. And voila, it gives you your pretzels. The water in that pot, does it have to come to a complete boil? Or yes. Or does it just have to be hot? No, to a complete boil so that it's it Fully can dissolved? Uh, baking yes. soda? And I don't need it right away so that because it goes fast. Perfect. Again, the horseshoe. Cross twist. it over and then Cross twist. Cross it over again. And then up again. And there you have it. Whoops, your pretzel. Here, one about the rich baker. Mm -hmm. He was rolling in the dough. That's a bad, dad joke. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now, who, who are you um, um, gonna thank for this kind of joke that you do? Which homesteading family? Oh, Mapleberry Farms. Yes. Thank you guys for getting my husband to do these things, these crazy jokes. I've been doing them for years. Yes. But sure. now I can make everybody groan at home with the silly jokes I tell.
the numbers rolling in? Yep. Okay, so now you take your pretzels, the water's boiling, you just kind of drop it in. <clears throat> About 20 to 30 seconds? Yeah. I check to make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom. If I would have a better spoon, it would help. But this is what I got, so this is what I work with. So when it floats, it's when pretty it much floats, ready? When it floats, it's almost ready, yep. Yeah. Don't want to keep it too long. This is a baking soda bath, uh, similar to uh, how they make bagels, right? Yeah, actually you can probably use this recipe uh, to do bagels. So you just have soft bagels, which I might actually try. So we're back and now the next process is to take the pretzels and dip it in here which is your egg wash both sides yep so they say but I'm not a big fan of both sides like that I think that's milk <laughs> so what this I gives do, it a golden brown color what I do is I just do this instead I find there's makes more sense oh it's easier and not so ill. <laughs> this is a mammoth. I'm pretty sure you made this one this big because that's what you wanted. No. It's just the way it came out. Okay, now add a little bit of salt. Yeah. Salty pretzel. Is this just regular table salt? No, this is coarse salt. Ooh, coarse salt. I think the salt is a little bit too salty for it, but Jeff seems to like it, so this, these are his. All right, that's it for those. Next is the, uh, oops, I forgot my fork. Excuse me. Now it's the cinnamon sugar ones. What's in that little bowl? This is sugar and cinnamon. Ooh. And this is what we're gonna put on these ones. I've never had one like that. Well, we're gonna be able to try it today.
How long do we bake it for? 10 minutes, one side, and then five minutes on broil. Ooh. Okay. Hey guys, I just pulled them out, and this is how they turned out. Perfect. So what I did when I, when I pulled them out, I brushed them with a little bit of butter on top, just to give them that soft shell. Um, Jeff, do you want to try one? Okay, we can pull one apart together. Yeah. So that's a little hot. Okay. So, there you go. Hot molly. It's very hot and it's super, super soft. So guys, I 150% love this recipe. Please go try it out if you like soft pretzels. You won't regret it. And if you like this video, please subscribe. If you haven't done it so, like, press that little bell for notifications for our next upcoming videos, and share with your family and friends if you think they would want a recipe for this. You won't be disappointed. All right, see you on the next one. Bye.